All right, Shalom, Shalom. First and foremost, before I get started, as always, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory unto Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, Wahavar Chakwadash, which Yahweh, that's the name of the Heavenly Father, Yahweh Shai, that's whom the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ, that's his true name, and the Rakhakwadash, that is the Holy Spirit. And I also want to give double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone who rule and teach well in the scriptures. And salutations to all the brothers out there who are pushing the word in all truth and in all sincerity. And I want to get into a lesson on how Elon Musk, he's the uh, vessel to push this beast technology. All right. And the re what inspired me to uh, uh, do this lesson is recently I, um, I basically got a Tesla. All right. And, you know, this Tesla... It, it it really, you know, connects everything, all right? You know, you got your, you know, your phone, you know, connected to it, all right? It, you know, it has all these sensors and, you know, cameras, you know? And pretty much, you know, it, it's going to lead to the link up, all right? You know, with a uh, uh, man and technology, okay? The fusion of those two things. All right, which, you know, eventually all these things are going to lead to what? You know, chip activities. All right. But so through the spirit, I ended up looking up, you know, what companies this guy owns. Okay. And I didn't realize that he, you know, owned, you know, several, several of these companies. Now I knew about Tesla, the Neuralink, the SpaceX, Twitter. But I didn't know about all these other uh, companies, okay? And um, you got one called DeepMind, which basically deals with AI, okay? And the uh, improvement and, for lack of words, evolution of, you know, uh, 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 you know artificial, you know, intelligence, uh, uh, you know, a thought process, Okay? Then you got the Solar uh, a City, a company which deals with, quote unquote, clean energy. Okay. All right. Then the uh, STEM Centrics, that deals with basically them curing cancers. Okay. And you see, the reason why I'm mentioning all these things is because these companies are going to try to, you know, and I'll say this, and they will push you using, you know, the chip in order to activate everything, in order to, you know, use their products, you see? All right. Because, you know, basically, te you know, the Tesla, the the key that, that functions everything is a, it's all RFID. You don't even have a, you know, regular key anymore. All right. In order to open the door, you can't even click a button. You have to literally swipe your hand with the card by the door in order for it to open. You have to, you know, place your key card, all right, near the middle console in order to start the car. What do you think that's going to lead to? Yeah, it's starting off as a card now, but what is that going to eventually lead to? And we all know, we all know it's going to lead to chip activities, all right? Then of course you got the Neuralink, and this you know the STEM uh, centrics. They're gonna you know push getting you know um, you know chips in your brain and all that, or wherever, in order to cure ailments. You see, all right. And see these things they're gonna uh, these these are basically the the miracles of the beast. Okay, that's gonna deceive you know many. And let's start off with that scripture there. In um, Revelation 13 and 14, and it reads here, And deceiveth them that dwell on the earth by the means of those miracles, which he had power to do in the sight of the beast. And you see, Esau has been given this power, okay, to do all these things. All right? But those miracles, they're not from the right hand, you know, hand side. This is left-handed, you know, wizardry. Okay, witchcraft. You see, 
These are just, you know, abnormal things that, you know, uh, uh, you know, humans can do, so to speak. All right. And that's going to deceive a lot of people. That's going to uh, entice people. OK. To get, you know, uh, uh, the actual mark itself. OK, which is the chip, you know, that's what it's coming down to. You see, like I said, this guy, he's going to be that vessel and that character to push it. You know, people, um, people look up to the, you know, this individual. All right. People, uh, 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 uh praise him. Basically worship him. You know, it comes off as, you know, being charismatic. Being, you know, uh, you know, uh, you know, one of those geeks, those tech geeks, you know. And they're going to say, oh, he's got the answers. Look, look at all the things that he's doing. Oh, now, not, not, now th this is the new step to, to actually have these things, you know, in our bodies. Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll do it. Oh, it's got my bank account information on there. It has uh, uh, my medical information. It has my identity. Which, oh, I'll say this. You know, digital identity is becoming um, the new thing. I just heard out here in uh, Illinois, uh, you know, for Illinois, that they're going to start actually um, allowing people to use, uh, to use digital identification, you know, uh, identification cards. Okay. We all know what this is all leading up to. You see? But like I said, this is the guy that's going to be the face of it all. Okay. Let's keep reading. Back in Revelation 13 and 14, it says, Saying to them that dwell on earth, that they should make an image to the beast, which had a wound by a sword and did live. All right, that image is not talking about an actual, like, you know, let's just say, per se, a statue. No, the image is talking about the ideologies, okay? Which this place pushes what? Technology, transhumanism, you know? Basically, anti-Messiah activities. Anything that goes against Yahweh Shimei Awashai, that's what they push. Okay? And what did it say? Which had a wound by a sword. And this is talking about that beast, right? Which had a wound by a sword and did live. And you see, um, you know, Rome fell. That was the original beast. Okay? But the scriptures talk about in, um, I believe, the book of Daniel, if I'm not mist uh, mistaken, I, if, if I'm uh, if I'm uh, um, if I'm saying the wrong book, Salakia, but it it talks about how uh, the uh, the deadly wound was healed, or maybe it might be Revelation. I, I excuse me, I forget where it's at. I have to type it in. But point being, though, is you know Rome fell, and what what, what came out of Rome was uh, America. Okay, this is Rome all over again. Rome 2.0. You see. Let's keep reading. And he had power to give life unto the image of the beast, that the image of the beast should both speak and cause that as many as would not worship the image of the beast should be killed. All right. So if you don't get down with this uh, system, you're going to be, you know, deemed, okay, and portrayed as a uh, domestic terrorist, as a threat to society, you see? And eventually it's going to get to a point where if you don't want to uh, uh, worship this system, you don't want to fall in line, basically. You're you're gonna be um put to death. Okay. In verse sixteen, and he causeth, and that word causeth in the Greek is pieo, which, when you get the um the definition or definitions for that, there's three main ones that I like to use: form, fashion, construct. So meaning that the things that are happening aren't organic this is something that was pre-planned that was well designed and well thought out okay so it says here and he calls it all both small and great doesn't matter your age rich and poor doesn't matter your economic status free and bond doesn't matter if you're a free man or in prison to receive a mark in their right hand or in their foreheads all right and that word mark Goes into the word karagma, which we, you know, bring this out often. 
All right, let me get it real quick. Okay, what does it say? Uh, say, uh, say here, a stamp or imprinted mark. Okay, basically goes into branding. You see. That's basically what this uh, chip is. You're saying that your owner is Esau Edom. Okay? By you receiving that chip, you're saying that this is my God now. He's my owner, not Yahweh Bashim Shai. And as the scriptures talk about what? Yahweh Bashim Shai is what? A jealous power? So if you take that and you're an Israelite, you're going to be destroyed. The Lord is going to eradicate you. Okay, you see, goes into uh, 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 being impaled or a stake, you know, all right? And when you're, you know, uh, impaling something, it means you got to, you're going to be cutting open, you're going to cut open some flesh, man, all right? You see, and in order to get that chip in you, you have to be punctured. Even though it's very small, yeah, you're being impaled, you know, you see? Well, let's go back to that Revelation 13 and uh, 17 now. And then no man might buy or sell, save he that had the mark or the name of the beast or the number of his name. And that's that's how we know this is going to be the, um, that's how we know the chip is going to be the mark, okay, of the beast. Because, you know, digital currency is on the rise, all right? You know, physical cash is barely used anymore. And you see, that's going to be your new form of currency. All right? Having that chip implanted in you. And you have, you know, stores such as, you know, Whole Foods. All right? Which I believe, um, does this guy own it? I forgot who owns uh, uh, Amazon now. Uh, man, I just, all these companies are just under the same umbrella, you know, basically. All right, but point being though, I, I I believe does he own it? I forgot who owns it, but you know we 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 know about Amazon, um, you know, or is or is Bezos that owns Whole Foods? That's who it is. Um, but uh, you know, uh, you got the Amazon Fresh, and then you got Whole Foods. You got certain locations where you don't even have to you know pay. Okay, everything's linked up. Okay, to your you know your phones and all that and. You could just walk out the store and the you know the you'll be you'll be you'll pay for your your groceries right then and there, all right. You see, they're already pushing for you know the uh, the 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 non usage of physical cash, all right. So this this stuff is coming, you know. Like I said, this guy, and also you know Bezos too, but the, he this guy right here, he's the main one. After seeing how many companies he owns, this is going to be the face, okay, of the beast technology. He's going to be the one that's going to really push it. And watch, man. These next, you know, hopefully it's hopefully it's sooner than later. But you know, I'm using this loosely. You know, in the next few years, we're going to see a huge increase in transhumanism. Best believe, because Esau Edom, in particular, their elites. They really want to get this new system, you know, put into place, all right? The NWO, the New World Order, all right? They want to get their system established so in, in, in their minds that so they can rule forever, okay? But uh, I'm going to end this lesson, you know, hopefully this was edifying. I just wanted to touch on this. You know, I didn't know if, uh, I don't know if brothers, you know, knew this information or not. Like I said, this is new to me. I didn't realize that this guy uh, owned all these companies, okay? All right, this guy is a high-level wizard, high-level uh, warlock, okay? And he, uh, you know, he, he's going to be pushing a lot of stuff, man, okay? So, you know, we'll just keep, let's keep our, uh, you know, eyes, you know, um, eyes open and, and let's keep watching, all right? But with that, you know, like I said, hopefully this, this was an edifying lesson, and I'm going to give all praises, honor, and glory unto Yahweh Bashim Al Shai. Also, double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone. And salutations to all you brothers out there. Shalom.